Let's close our eyes and let's bow our heads in a word of prayer. And I will ask Joesh to pray. Please come. Please come in front. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this wonderful night that you've given to us. Father, I pray for each individual who is present here. Bless them, O oh Lord. Lord, those who are on their way, quicking their feet so they'll be here, O Lord. Bless the car or whatever vehicles they are coming in, O Lord. Protect them and bring them safely here, O Lord. Those who may be sick here, O Lord, heal them so they will be able to glorify your name. Lord, I pray for the program for tonight, O Lord, as we'll be going into worship, O Lord. Bless the... I pray that your Holy Spirit will come and prosper in this place, O Jesus. I give in and every individual into wonderful and mighty names again. In this name I pray, amen. All right. I had a very tiring week and I know you all must have been tired from work and school. So let's loosen up a bit. It's Friday night, youth night, and let's praise God with everything we have. And I'll give um, the floor to Joshua and the team to take us further. All right, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I redeem my leaves, amen. Oh, what happened? I redeem my leaves, amen. Amen. Come on, let's clap our hands. I know, I know he rescued my soul. His blood has covered my sin. I believe. I believe. Shame is taken away, my pain, my pain is still in his name, I believe, I believe, I raise the banner, oh, oh, oh. my Lord has conquered the grave, my Redeemer lives, my Redeemer
Why don't we give another round of applause for Jer uh, Joanna and Ashriel. So you have all, uh, all of you have your Bibles? Okay, that's good. So we'll 
have enjoyed a very good presentation. We have sang some songs. Now let's see what the Lord is telling us through His Word. Amen? The Word of God is very important in our life. We always need to be filled with the Word of God. It helps us and it shows us the way where we need to go. Amen? Hallelujah. Let us all bow our heads and we pray for the Word. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for the lives of each and everyone who are present here today. Lord, I pray as we share from your word, let your Holy Spirit lead us, guide us. And whatever we learn, Father, through this, we may apply it into our, into our lives. And through this, let your name be glorified. I dedicate this service into your mighty hands. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Before we start, I'd just like to ask one question. Right. Why is this bench here? Why is that bench here? Why are the benches here? All right, for us to sit. Why is the light up here? For us to see. Why is this small pulpit here? Yeah, for me to put my Bible on it and read. So what I'm trying to say that everything has its own purpose, right? The table, uh, the benches has its own, the light has its own, this, table, this pulpit has its own purpose. Why are you here? Why are you here? Don't you have a purpose? Everyone is silent. Do you guys know that you have a purpose? What is your purpose? Anyone? Anyone knows what your purpose is? As being a Christian? We know this bench has a purpose. This pulpit has a purpose. This mic has a purpose. The lights have a purpose. Aircon machines, those have a purpose. It cools the room. What about us? Out of all the creation, God says we are the most precious ones. Right? The Bible says that. Man, human being. Mankind. So what's our purpose? What has God told us? Yes, amen. To spread the gospel. Bible teaches us in so many places that we need to spread the gospel. Amen? You agree with me? How are we working towards our purpose? Is the bench fulfilling its purpose today? Bench is fulfilling its purpose today? Are we able to sit properly? Are we able to see properly? Is the room cool enough? Is the mic working? Can you hear me properly? The speakers are working? It is serving its purpose. What about us? Are we? Yes or no? Just two simple answers. Yes or no? Yes. How many of you say yes? How many of you say no? Some are undecided. So it is a very good opportunity or good time for us to examine ourselves. That everything else God created, it's saving our purpose. But the most important thing which God created with his own hands, it's not serving the purpose what it was made for. Is it true? Is it true? Come on, please talk to me. I don't want to scold you or make you guys cry. Please <laughs> respond. So let's just read some of the scriptures. I want you guys to read Acts chapter 13 verse 47. And okay, this side will read Acts 13 47. Someone from this side will read Mark 16 15. Anyone found it? Yes, you can please stand up and read. Anyone from this group or anyone from this group? Uh, this row or this row? Amen. And X1347? X1347, come on, fast. We should be excited to read the word of God. Amen. 
So these two verses simply tells us that we are, we need to spread the gospel out to the world. Amen. That's, that's maybe one of our purpose which God has created us for. But today, there's a lot of things creating hindrance in our life which is stopping us to fulfill the purpose which we are made for. The same thing Jesus experienced in his life when he was on this earth. Amen. Comparing Jesus to ourselves, we are nothing in front of him. Yet Jesus, has to, yet Jesus had to face so many difficulties in his life in order to fulfill the promise which God, has, God had for him. That's why he came to this world. Amen? Didn't he? God had a purpose for him. God had a plan for him. That's why he sent his only begotten son on this earth so that his will and his purpose will be fulfilled. But Jesus, when he was on this earth, he faced a lot of difficulties in his life. He was tempted. He was accused. He was betrayed. Was he? He was, na? Then how can we expect that we will live a very simple life and easy-go life? There's a lot of things which are going to hinder us in our life which will stop us from fulfilling the purpose of the Lord. If you guys turn to Mark 15, 23, let's see what happens to Jesus. Mark 15, 23. Yes, can someone read? Please stand up and read the Bible. Anyone reading? Amen. When Jesus was carrying his cross, when he was about to fulfill the, uh, fulfill the purpose which was his, he was sent for, then he had to face some situations. When he was carrying his cross and going towards his crucifixion place, then there were some people, he was, they were trying to offer him wine with myrrh in it to drink. But what did, what did Jesus said? What did Jesus do? Did he take it? No, he refused it. Because he knew that he was on his way to fulfill the purpose which was he, what, he, what he was made for. Amen? That was the willpower of Jesus. That yes, he, he decided that he's going to fulfill the promise of God. He prayed to God and he was walking towards it. And anything came on his way, he just pushed it away. Today, we are facing the same difficulties in our life. There's a lot of things are being offered to us from outside, trying to stop us to fulfill the purpose which we are made for. What are we doing? Are we accepting it? Or like Jesus, we are refusing it. We are saying, no, we don't need it. I'm on my way. I'm, I have a purpose in my life. God has set me, some, God has set me for something which I'm going to work towards. It's only, it will only come through you. Amen? Even Jesus, when he was on this earth, he was praying. He was kneeling down to God. He went up to the mountains. He was praying. He was fasting. We read it from the Bible. And we see how Jesus lived his life. So we can't expect that we will, live, we will have an easy go life. If Jesus had to go through all those Trust me, we also will go all, we will also go through all that in our lives. But it depends on us. What are we doing? Are we accepting those things or we are just saying, no, I don't need this. I have a purpose in my life. Amen? So it's you, it's us. There's a lot of things in our lives today which are coming to us, are being offered to us, which is trying to stop us from fulfilling the purpose. But I encourage you all that please, we, when we will be filled with the word of God and when we will be filled with the Holy Spirit, we will, be, we will be able to overcome all those situations. Amen? Only through his word, only through the faith which we have and only through our Holy Spirit which will guide us. I want, you all, I want all you to close your eyes at the moment. Please, if you can close your eyes. And just remember your life. We have come this far. There, there would have been situations in our life where which has come to stop us or things which are taking us away from God. And I just want everyone to say, I don't need it. Please repeat after me and say, I don't need it. Louder. Louder. The way you people are saying that means I don't need it now, but maybe later I'll have it. We need to be confident with 
our words and say, Lord, whatever comes, we don't need it. We have your word with us. We have your Holy Spirit with us. We will fulfill the purpose which you have sent us for. And nothing will hinder us. Amen. So let us all rise to our feet. And we just examine ourselves. And today we have an option. We have a chance again that we can commit ourselves to Lord. That Lord, if we have been away from you, today we surrender our lives back to you. No matter what comes, no matter what situation comes, anything, Lord, I will say no. And I will follow and fulfill the purpose which you have set us for. We need to be fed with the word of God. We need to seek his Holy Spirit. Jesus went up in the mountains. He kneeled down and he prayed. Even before his crucifixion, he was so... He came to a stage where he said, Lord, if you are willing, then take this away from me. That means... That's the amount of suffering which he had to go through. So, today, I urge you and I encourage you to invite the Holy Spirit in our lives today. Without him, we won't be able to overcome any situations. Only it's through him and his word that we will be able to say no. As we go into worship now, please, with all your heart, just dedicate your life unto him. And if we, we, we might have fall back many, many times, but today we have a new, Jesus gives us a new opportunity, a new time where we can go back to him and say, Lord, here I am coming back to you to fulfill the purpose which you have for me. I give myself away I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away.
ourselves as a living sacrifice.